is 8 months too late to post this video. Silence. Fuck it. I know the consequences of it. I wonder if it's worth the risk. Hello everyone and welcome to a blog that is extremely, extremely, extremely late. Like this was filmed in April of 2022. It is now about to be 2023. Um, so that's really cool. Uh, and because I am editing and posting this so late, watching back this footage, I do not remember anything. But luckily, I was very addicted to journaling at this time, so instead of voiceovering and trying to guess what I'm doing in my day or what I'm thinking in my day, I'm just gonna read uh, like redacted versions of my journal. And I think that's gonna be a much better way to go through this vlog than just me, like I said, guessing at what I'm doing. Monday, April 4th, 2022, 11.23 p.m. I'm not in the greatest headspace right now. I was supposed to be productive today with writing my essay, but I was not. Part of it is for sure my own fault for not managing my time better, but I'm also sitting here right now overhearing my roommates talk and feeling shitty about it for no particular reason, honestly. Which sucks because I had a really great workout class today and I made this creamy tomato pasta that turned out amazing. So there were parts of my day that were good, but I can't shake this feeling I have right now of just general unfulfillment with my day, with my life. Usually I'm able to distract myself from this sort of feeling, but right now it's really hard to do, which is why I haven't gotten as far in my essay as I'd have hoped. I've decided that I'm going to give up for tonight and I'm telling myself that I will do better tomorrow. Tomorrow is a brand new day. I'm going to let myself wallow in my own sadness for tonight and wake up with a new attitude tomorrow. I just really feel shit for probably a multitude of reasons and I just need to let myself feel it. I think that's the best course of action. I think what I need to do is just get myself out of this apartment for most of the day tomorrow, just to really get myself out of this headspace. Tuesday, April 5th, 2022, 11.50 p.m. Today was a lot better mentally than it was yesterday. I was just in such a low headspace last night that I literally could not function normally. To be honest, I'm still feeling a little off, but nowhere near what I felt yesterday, which means I'm moving in the right direction at least. I stayed out of my apartment for most of the day, which I think helped. I was only here in the morning and in between classes and essay writing in the library. Basically, I was only here to get changed and eat. I also finished my essay. Well, it isn't submitted yet because I want to read it over one more time tomorrow morning, but besides that, it's done. To be honest, I thought I would feel more relief, and I do feel relief, but I just thought I would feel more. Like, instead of feeling excited that I now have more free time to do other shit, I'm more like, well, oh shit, now what? I've put all of my energy, or nearly all of it, into this essay the past few days, and now I feel like... I lack purpose. Or maybe I was inadvertently using my essay as an excuse to avoid all of the things I've been avoiding lately. My essay was a very valid excuse, but now I no longer have that very valid excuse, which means tomorrow I actually have to do the uncomfortable things I've been talking about doing. I know starting is the hardest part and it will gradually get easier, but damn, is starting scary. It's taking a big leap into the unknown, but deep down, I know I'll be better for it. I think this is all just a sign from the universe telling me to get my shit together and start writing to Tomorrow. I guess I have no other choice but to show up and do it now. I think I may leave my room to work again tomorrow to write because that worked out really well for me today, 
just in terms of productivity and helping me feel like I actually exist in society rather than hiding in my room all day. Last night when I was feeling like shit, I recorded a voice memo to talk about my feelings and I'm not sure if it helped at all, but it did make me more aware of what I was feeling. I just wish I would have had someone to vent to rather than just speaking to my phone's microphone. Anyway, I had listened to another voice memo I had recorded back in January right before flying back to Vancouver because I was feeling really sad about it. And holy shit, is it sad to hear myself say some of the same things in that voice memo and the one I recorded last night. Like some of my sentences were word for word. I guess listening to it back almost three months later made me even more aware of the fact that there's some things in life that won't change unless I act. I mean, there are definitely moments where things do fall into my lap and I get lucky, but it's becoming more and more obvious that some things are just not going to happen that way. Some things do not just fall into your lap as much as you may want them to. Or maybe things do eventually fall into your lap, but the question is when? A week from now? A year from now? Five years from now? I can't just wait around for five years waiting for the universe to give me what I want. Add that to the list of things I need to figure out tomorrow now that my essay is done. Whatever. I'm going to embrace the discomfort tomorrow will bring and keep telling myself that I'll be a better person because of it. I see you there, it's your blood. I see the weight of the world, the pressure. Wednesday, April 6th, 2022, 10.58 p.m. I wrote today. I decided my strategy for building a daily habit of writing would be to increase the time I spend writing every day by five minutes. So today, I started with an easy 5 minutes of writing, and tomorrow will be 10 minutes, and so on. I think I'm going to cap it out at 30, and if I want to write for longer at any day, I could. This 5 minute thing is really only to get me in the habit of writing. The actual amount of time I spend writing will matter less once I actually develop the habit. But it feels good to do something, even if it is just for 5 minutes, even if it's not very good quality wise. That's the point of this after all, so I can get better, and I'll never get better if I don't show up and do it. Tomorrow is my last day of classes, possibly ever, and I'm not sure how I feel about it. I don't think it's truly sunk in yet, and I'm not sure when it will. Maybe it will really sink in in those final moments of my last class tomorrow. Maybe it won't sink in until Monday when I wake up and have no classes I need to get to that day. Maybe I won't feel it until weeks later and I have an oh shit moment. It's weird to think about it because literally all I've known my whole life is school. So maybe my brain can't process the idea of going back to school in the fall yet. It honestly doesn't feel real. It doesn't feel like the end. And it's weird because classes at UBC will just keep going without me and I'll just become another name amongst the thousands of UBC alumni. Being a student and attending UBC will no longer be a part of my identity. Who am I outside of school? I guess that's something I have to find out. I think the thing I'll miss most is the flexibility and freedom being a student offers. I mean, working an adult job for sure gives you financial freedom, but in terms of schedule flexibility, nothing compares to student life. I feel like my thoughts are kind of all over the place right now, which is to be expected because life as I know it is about to change and there's nothing I can do to stop it or slow it down. And that's really fucking scary. Life as I know it right now will be ripped from my grip come Friday. My current identity is about to shift and I just have to sit and watch it happen. Watch the change happen regardless of whether I feel ready for it. Because truthfully, I don't know if I am ready for it. As I've said before, there's comfort and familiarity, and I'm about to leave everything that's ever been familiar to me as I'm forced to enter the real world. The shit part is I actually like school. I like going to classes every week and learning. It makes me feel like I'm a part of something, like I have a purpose. Now I have to find my purpose outside of being a student, and maybe that's why I've been so into self-improvement lately. Even if I haven't wanted to think about it, my subconscious has been preparing me for it. I don't know. My thoughts are still really jumbled, and I can't articulate how I'm feeling, maybe because I'm feeling so many things at one time. I don't know how to use words to describe all of those things that I am feeling. Maybe I just need to sit down with this for a few more days so I can really articulate my thoughts. Maybe I need to sit outside tomorrow and just let myself think without anything to distract me. Thursday, April 7th, 2022, 10.32 p.m. So, I'm officially done with classes, probably forever unless I decide to go to grad school someday, which isn't outside the realm of possibility. But for now, I'm done with classes forever and I still don't feel anything. I think it's because my brain still thinks I'll just be back to it in September. I'll be walking across the stage at graduation and in my head I'll be like, yep, 
I may be literally walking across the stage right now in my cap and gown, but classes start back up in September. I'm delusional right now. It probably doesn't help that I still have a shit ton of work to do for a couple of my classes still, so I'm a couple weeks away from actually being done done. I'll still be living that student life until then, just without the attending lectures component. What I'm trying to say is I don't think this big life change that I'm currently in the middle of is going to sink in for a while. I did cry a lot last night though, like shortly after I finished my journal entry. That was triggered by me discovering this book written by a Yale valedictorian who died in a car accident five days after her graduation. I didn't read the book obviously because I just discovered its existence last night, but from what I gathered, it's a really sad book full of these short stories and essays where she talks about how excited for her future she is, only for her to never fulfill any of her dreams. Learning about this book and this girl's story really fucked me up and it's just served as a horrible reminder of how nothing in life is guaranteed. Sure, I can have all of these plans and dreams right now, but I could die tomorrow. And if I did, I wouldn't have a collection of short stories and creative essays my family and friends could publish after I die. I honestly wouldn't be leaving anything behind besides a lot of unfulfilled dreams. I'm not sure if I'll read that book, definitely not anytime soon because I don't think I'd be able to mentally handle it, but it's really just reinforced the importance of action. Basically, everything I've been writing about in the last few entries, I'm not going to get all the things I want unless I take action and make conscious choices. I have to make the most of every day and live with intention and purpose because this could all be ripped away from me at any moment. And that's scary to think about, but it's also motivating. I don't want to waste my time here getting bogged down by insecurity or anxiety. I just want to do. Friday, April 8th, 2022, 11.49 p.m. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't do much today and I'm trying really hard not to feel bad about it. I am all for conscious and intentional do-nothing days, but today was unfortunately an accidental do-nothing day. Let me talk about the things I did do today to try to make myself feel a little bit better. I went to my spin class today. I picked up a chocolate cream mini egg pie from the pie hole to celebrate finishing classes. I started swiping on Tinder. <laughs> And even though I still find it terrifying, I still did it. I'm keeping up with my gradual increase in writing daily by writing for 15 minutes a day. And that's it. Yeah, I still kind of feel like shit about it. I feel like I could have done more productive things, but I didn't. I spent a lot of time on my phone and computer just not doing much of anything. I could have read. I could have started editing my video. I would have even been satisfied if I watched Netflix or something, but nope, I did not do that either. I did not live with much intention today, but it's okay. Tomorrow is a brand new day with brand new opportunity. I will edit my video. I will read my book. I will make pork chops and cookies. Maybe I will go see a movie. I haven't made a decision about that one quite yet. I may do that on Sunday instead. I want tomorrow to be relatively chill, but I don't want to end my day feeling like I've wasted it like I feel right now. I honestly can't think of much else that I want to talk about or reflect on right now. So I think I'm going to leave this here. Tomorrow will be better. And just as like a funny thing that I'm not going to read this entry, but <laughs> the first line in the next entry was today was not better, which is kind of depressing, but thank you for watching this video. I'll hopefully have another one posted sometime this month. Yeah.